Hey friends, welcome to Mimi's Mix Bag. Thank you for stopping by. This is your first video of mine. Check out my playlist. I've got hundreds and hundreds of seasonal craft projects and home decor, all kinds of fun stuff to watch. After the Christmas in July series, I needed to take a couple weeks off just to recoup, and now I'm ready to do some fall crafting. So to start off my fall crafting, I wanted to make some Kirkland's dupes. So I looked through Kirkland's website, and I found well over a dozen things that I knew I could make cheaper than what they are selling it for. So I love these kind of videos and I love this type of crafting. I'm not going to show you a play-by-play -play of every little step I do. I'm going to show you what I'm starting with, where I got it, and then pretty much the end result. Some of this is so simple you can clearly see what I did. I need a day or two to get these done and then I'll come back and share with you. All right, our first dupe, I'm starting off pretty strong, and it's going to be a little wooden porch leaner. My husband just happened to have this piece of scrap wood and is exactly what I needed. The biggest difference in the Kirkland one is that theirs is six foot tall, and it does fold at the two foot mark. But this four foot piece of wood would cost you about $10 at Lowe's or Home Depot. And then I just happened to have these Happy Fall Y'all stencils. These come from Amazon. They were about $7 for the pack and you get more in the pack and if you decided to do this project split the cost with a friend and it's even cheaper you you know just have a fun craft day but I've just got some orange and white paint some sponge brush and I got a can of clear spray paint so seriously I could make this for less than $20 I would say budget $20 to make this and would you just look at what they are asking for it it is on sale today for $63.74 for 20 bucks, we're going to make our own Happy Fall Y'all porch leaner. So I'm going to get this made and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, friends, before I start project two, I just want to say I'm going to save the finished projects for the end just so I can show you a little side-by-side -side comparison of my version versus the Kirkland version. Now, the second project is what Kirkland calls a eucalyptus leaves beaded wood wreath. I think it's really pretty and it's on sale right now for $37.49 and it may go a little cheaper but even at a cheaper price I could still create almost identical with only using Dollar Tree products. At Dollar Tree they do sell the beaded ring but my Dollar Tree is always sold out of them. I have some wood beads and I picked up one of these little sphere wreath forms. It's called a 3D wreath form at Dollar Tree. You might can find these a little easier but nonetheless it gives you four wire rings I can just beat it myself and get the same look. I've got a little bit of scrap eucalyptus and the two flowers I picked up one is called wheat and it's got some little golden looking wheat on the end and the next one is foxtail it's got a little burgundy brown little fuzzy flowers very similar to what was in the Kirkland's one and they accented it with a burlap bow the rings come apart super easy on this one I may have to nip off that little bitty loop right there and then I'm just gonna take some wire nippers and cut it and then wire all the beads on there I can. And then where it meets again, I'm just gonna take some electrical tape and tape the ring back together. And then right here is where I can totally hide that with the bow and the flowers that are going right there. Super simple. Once I get my ring beaded, it's just a matter of hot gluing or wiring everything on the ring. So this probably won't take me 10 minutes to create I just want to show you just in case you end up having to bead your own these are 20 millimeter wood beads and I use 50 and I'm just gonna I'm not going to fill it up even though I've got beads to fill it up there this is going to be hidden anyway and so there's no reason to waste five or six more beads but I'm gonna put a spot of hot glue at the end of each bead just to keep it from sliding to secure the all the beads in place but now I'm ready to show you my third Kirkland dupe. Let me show you here on my phone. It is called the Protea, I guess that's how you pronounce it, and Eucalyptus Arrangement. It's a really pretty glass jar, and they are asking $39.99 for it, and it's not even on sale this week. So I want you to, I'm gonna lay my phone down for a second and just show you this jar that I found that was very similar to the Kirkland one. This was originally $4.99 at Goodwill. I got it in the bins for maybe a dollar is what she charged me for it but when I saw it 
I knew that was the exact size and the shape of the jar that I needed. Now, if you'll notice the pictures of the flowers they're using, I don't have the exact same flowers, but they're all the same colors. So you may not have the exact eucalyptus and the exact uh, orange flower that they have there, but I think mine will lend itself very closely. Like I said, I'm gonna use an orange colored sunflower and some of my leaves. I've got a little bit of eucalyptus in here. This one has a big leaf on the side. I've got a big leaf I'll throw in there. Now, what I did notice is that the vase is not just clear glass. It's got a shading to it. And so what I thought I would do is take a little bit of Elmer's glue and just one drop of food coloring or black pigment or a drop of black ink, whatever you got that will color some Elmer's glue. And then I'm going to paint this glass vase and then I'm going to let it dry. And then once my vase is dry, it's just a matter of arranging the flowers in the vase. I wanted to come back and show you this glue mixture that I'm gonna paint the vase. I used about two tablespoons of Elmer's glue, and honestly, my glue was a little old and it was a little thick, and one drop of pigment is all it takes. And then my glue was still a little thick. Then I just added a teaspoon of water to thin it out just a little bit. I just so wanted to give you a little update on my vase. It's been sitting out in the sun for about an hour, and this is the side that was facing the sun, and it really cleared up a lot and this side has got some more darker patches on it and those areas are still wet so we'll see I'm gonna give it another hour or so and it should be completely dry it definitely is giving me the smoky glass look and so I hope it works out all right I thought I was just gonna do three and I went to upload this video and forgot that I had prepared to do this fourth one let me show you here what I recreated was this hello autumn framed canvas art print it was 11 by 14. It's on sale this week for $33.74. Now, the only difference between mine and theirs is mine is a couple inches smaller. I went to my word processor and just kind of looked through my fonts and just printed off exactly what theirs was. Hello Autumn, Falling Leaves, Chilly Breezy, Pumpkin Patches, Comfy Sweaters, Apple Picking, and Football Games and bought a dollar twenty five eight by ten frame. All right, here's my version of the Kirkland's six foot porch leaner. Like I said, mine is four foot and not six foot, and my font for the happy and the y'all is a little different, but the fall lettering is pretty much the same, same color, and I really like mine better than the six foot one, to be perfectly honest with you. This took me an hour to create and save myself $50. All right, here is my version of the eucalyptus leaves beaded wreath. Now, I was sorry I did not pick up a double stems of the wheat and double stems of the foxtails. I really needed to add a little more fullness this way and this way. I did have to change my burlap ribbon because I didn't have enough of the other one. This is the exact size they had, but just a little different style of burlap, but it still gives me that same look. So if you do this, be sure and get two of the wheat and two of the fox tail, you will still be able to make this wreath for less than half price. All right, here is my version of the Kirkland's Protea and Eucalyptus arrangement. I'm real happy with the way that vase turned out. I'm going to hold it up it towards the sun and let you see that it really got a smoky clearness to it and it looks so much like the real thing. Just the camera's making it look a little darker than what it really is. But I think any fall flowers with the same colors that they use would give you this same look. Dollar Tree has these little berry looking things and some more of these little wheat things and they certainly have little sunflowers and different types of orange flowers. And my version is definitely cheaper than $39.99. All right, it took me a minute to put the printable in the frame, and there you go. Kirkland has quite a few like this that you could just look through your fonts and print something out and simply frame it. 
and now this will be really cute on a bathroom shelf or just anywhere in your house that you could put a little framed piece it doesn't have the little easel on it but you could certainly just prop it up on a little shelf somewhere so i hope you enjoyed these makeovers they're so fun to do and just to see how much money i can save and get the same look because i get tired of things easy and i love new stuff every year so when i can make it so inexpensively i can donate it and start over new with new decor thanks so much for watching i'll be back next week with something fun to share bye bye